here with part one with Flat Earth is more biblical than your religion. Let's get it. Since this is part one, I figured I'll start off with a little intro with why would they lie about the shape of the Earth? According to the heliocentric model, that is where they pull the Big Bang Theory from in evolution. Only the globe is connected to that, not flat Earth, so they're hiding God. Because both of those theories, God don't exist. And among other things, they're hiding free energy. They're, NASA's taxing you to go into fake space. Power, mind control, resources. We'll cover this throughout the series, but let's get on the first point, which is the shape of the Earth. So let's make something clear. A circle is not a sphere because everyone that believes in the globe model loves using Isaiah 40 and 22. It is he that sitteth upon the circle of the earth, the circle, not a sphere, looking something like this. And in Job 38 and 14, he is referring to the earth when he says it is turned as clay to the seal. And according to Genesis 11.9, Genesis 41.56, Exodus 33.16, Job 37.12, the earth has a face. Globe can't have a face. And then, of course, there's going to be clowns saying, well, why haven't no one fell off the face of the earth? This is why the Arctic wall and all these verses right here tells you that there is an end of the earth, but you can't fall off of it because of. Now pay attention as we turn the flat earth map into a globe. Pay attention to the continents. They are still positioned north, east, west, and south. And take a look at the ice wall. What's it become when you turn it into a bowl? It becomes the Antarctica. And if you'll notice, it's south of all the continents, just like the ice wall is south of all the continents on the flat earth map. And therefore, you cannot tell the difference. The only reason that you believe what you believe is because that's what you have been taught to believe without questioning it. Heck, even NASA tells you that the earth is flat and that UN uses the flat earth map. The truth has always been hidden in plain sight do your research, take a screenshot of this, and meet me for part two. God bless. Flat Earth is more biblical than your religion, part two. And God made the firmament and divided the waters which were under the firmament, under the firmament, from the waters which were above the firmament. So let's get into the details. So if you're not clear on what the flat Earth model is, it isn't this. Erase this from your mind if you think it looks like this. So-called space, planets, which are actually wandering stars, the moon, the sun, everything is inside the firmament. Genesis 1.14, and the Most High said, let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven. So yes, the sun, the moon, the planets, nothing's light years away. Everything is local. The ancients didn't argue with what the dome looked like. All of their illustrations has it as a solid dome above the earth. So that can't be around a globe. Backing this up with more scripture in Isaiah 40, 22, talking about the circle of the earth. It continues to talk about how the heavens, AKA the firmament is spread like a tent. A tent is not can't go around a globe. And yes, the sky looks like a dome with stars because it is. Going back on the waters above the firmament, this adds context to the great flood. In Genesis 7:11, it says the windows of the heaven were open and it started to rain for 40 days and 40 nights because there's water above the firmament that he was releasing. And he wasn't talking about this. This is why when you look through a telescope, everything in the heavens look like they're underwater. Flat Earth is more biblical than your religion, part three. And God made two great lights, the greater light to rule the day, 
which is our local sun inside the firmament, and the lesser light to rule the night, which is of course referring to the moon. The moon doesn't need the sun to go through its own phases. Let's clear this up from the very beginning. This is not the size of the sun compared to the earth. Obviously that can't be possible if the sun fits inside the firmament, but in actuality, the sun and the moon are exactly the same size. Enoch 77 and chapter 72 both vouch that they are the same size. Let's think about it. If the sun was this big and the earth is this big and the moon passed in front of the sun, it would look like this. The moon wouldn't be able to block out the sunlight if the sun is a trillion times bigger than it. But if they were the same size and the moon passed in front of the sun, this would make sense. Let's now talk about the movement of the moon and the sun because the earth is stationary and the sun and the moon are the ones that's actually moving above the earth in a rotation east to west. First Chronicles 16 and 30, the world also shall be stable that it be not moved. Psalms 93, the world also is established that it cannot be moved. We're definitely not doing this. It's more something like this. That being said, when the sun goes down, that's just how our eyes perceive it. It's more of a refraction to a vanishing point than actually going over a curvature. I'll give you an example. And the sun definitely has to be moving if the Most High can make it stand still. Now let's go over how the seasons work within the Most High's perfectly designed timepiece. Sun circles over the earth from tropic to tropic. So when the sun is circling at the Tropic of Cancer closest to the North Pole or the center of the flat earth, it is summer in the north and winter in the south. When the sun is circling nearest the Southern Tropic of Capricorn, it is summer in the south and winter in the north. According to the book of Enoch chapter 72, there are six gates of where the sun moves to provide us with our seasons. Flat Earth is more biblical via religion, part four, which will be the last of this series. So why haven't anyone made it to the edge? Hmm. If there is an ice wall surrounding everyone, that means there has to be an end to the earth. Yes, and once again in Proverbs 30, who has established all the ends of the earth, the ice wall is the end of the earth and you can't fall off because you can't get past it. Why can't you get past it? By the way, this is why water can't fall off the edge because it's in a container. Remember, water always finds this level. That being said, you can't sell off and then you can't travel on Antarctica. Why? Many people say if the world was flat, every country would have to be in on it. They are. See? And even more. The entire world is in on the Antarctic Treaty. And this is why you can't book a vacation to Antarctica. Psalm 19.1 in the heavens declare the glory of the Most High in the firmament showeth his handiwork. So where's the satellite supposed to go? It's because they're not up there. Space is fake and so are satellites. So where and how do you get your internet? Water jet, create a trench, allowing the cable to sink into the seabed and become buried. 95% of all telephone and data is transferred over submarine cables. Not satellite. Not satellite. It's what allows us to rely on instant everything. Phone calls, banking, web surfing, email, streaming video, and other communication. And it all began 150 years ago. We have here samples of the early cables from the 1850s. Come on, think about it. 
The same reason you don't see planes going downward over the curvature is the same reason you don't see meteors coming upward because nothing's below us. Heavens is above us. That being said, let's talk about meteors. We are told that craters are holes in the earth caused by the impact of a meteor that has crashed onto earth. Although this is what we are told, it is far more likely that these craters or holes are caused by gas bubbles from below the surface or even a sinkhole. If craters were actually caused by a burning ball of rock from space, leaving that big of a depression, then the rock itself should still be there inside the crater. Is that being said, do not die falling for this deception. See the world as the Most High wanted you to see it, not through the eyes of Luciferians. Praise the Father for all of his creation, the way he intended you to see it. They're trying to push him away, but look up, he's right there.